Hello, my name is Ryan Burnett, and this is my informative speech for speech class at Rogers State University. The person holding the camera is audience member number one. Audience member one. And these are my other two audience members. All right, so the purpose of the speech is I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background on cable TV and how it all works. Um, cable TV started in just a, just a few small states, Arkansas, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. It started in 1948, and the reason it was created was to enhance the poor signals that people would get on their televisions. Um, so it was just basically two or three channels that people could get over the air. Huge antennas were put up in people's yards, main parts of the city, on Main Street, and what they did is they put them up in the remote area to basically amplify the signals in the air so people could watch television a little bit better. Now, as this, become, as this became more and more popular, um, people started pirating these signals. Your neighbor would have more channels than you would. This guy over here would have better signals than you would, a clearer picture. So this is where the FCC came in, the Federal Communi Communications Commission. And what they did is they created a jurisdiction to basically regulate these channels. This law is still in effect. Congress is a big part of that as well. Now, where this all basically evolved into just a basic cable from antenna, an engineer by the name of Milton Sharp created a master system. And what this master system did is it eliminated the abundance of all these antennas. These antennas were found in people's yards, like I mentioned, they were found on top of buildings, department stores, they were even found on big old apartment buildings. So these antennas were everywhere. And what he did is this system basically took all these signals and transmitted into one single source. That one single source is a cable like you see here. This became the basic standard of the cable that we know today. Now, there are several components of this cable. This is how everybody gets their television. The black part you see here is the jacket. This is the protector. Then this little frayed part is what we call the dielectric. The purpose of the dielectric is to basically ground the cable. This keeps any kind of voltage, electricity, lightning strikes from hitting your television and frying your cable boxes. And then the juice of it all comes from right here, the center conductor. This is basically the keys that drive the car. Powers everything that you see. It provides you with all your channels and everything. Now, the things that this thing can do is pretty amazing. It starts with just the basic cable jack from the wall to your television. You can have just basic cable. It powers things such as cable boxes. It also powers things like your internet and your telephone, which is still the most popular thing that any cable company around the world will provide. Now, one of the most popular items, like I mentioned, is your, is your basic cable box. The technology has evolved so much that people now have the ability to record these shows. A VCR is basically obsolete now. Gone, you can't even buy a VHS tape anymore. People can record their favorite shows like Once Upon a Time, Grey's Anatomy, Survivor, American Idol. They can watch them whenever they want to. It's a pretty cool thing. And still, to this day, the most popular item available is the internet. Cable provides the best quality of service when it comes to the internet. People can remember years ago, things used to come from a basic phone line. And you had the AOL days, where it was just dial-up speeds. And things were used basically on a phone line. With the use of a cable now, it eliminates the basic phone line that people have. Phone lines are good, because they provide you the dial tone that you need. But because they're so susceptible to weather, and animal chews, and changes in temperature, they can't carry the quiet speed that these cables can.
And in addition to the speeds, they offer a better quality of service. People can be on the internet for hours and hours and hours without, without being kicked off. Plus, you don't have to worry about somebody calling your house and kicking you off the internet because now that phone is being, you know, basically being in use now. So, those are kind of just the basics that cable can do. Um, as more and more people work from home, go to school online, play video games online, and all that kind of cool stuff, Things like the internet, powered by cable, is still going to be the most popular choice. Cable companies all over the world, uh, satellite companies as well, use that form of cable to provide their service because it is the bar none best quality. In addition to that, using a cable box, as more and more channels become available, more and more People are going back to work, going back to school. Moms are staying home now because dads are going back to work. More and more kids are being homeschooled now. So you've got the ability of all these great channels that people can watch. And it, it all comes basically from this. So gone are the days of the antenna. And this is basically leading the future. So in conclusion, I would like to thank you guys for listening to my speech today. And everybody have a great night.